Governor Andy Bashir was in western Kentucky today announcing funding for various water and sewer projects across the region. Eyewitness News Cody Bailey has more on what this money will do for one of the designated projects in Henderson County. The need for infrastructure improvements has been on the minds of many people lately, including court and Kentucky Mayor Rhonda Smith. Yeah, it is much needed. The much needed help Mayor Smith is referring to is on the way in the form of a $100,000 hazardous mitigation grant that will allow the town to install automatic generators at its three sewer lift pump stations. You know, uh, give, of course, myself, this office, maintenance, you know, with citizens, a little bit of peace of mind that, you know, if we do have a power failure that is going to keep pumping. Currently, the three sewer lift stations are essentially hanging by a thread. The one pump station, we have a generator. It's supposed to automatically kick on. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. We have another one that has one there that we have to go manually start. And then our third pump station, we don't have anything there, but we do have a, a military generator that we can pull down there and hook up. Other communities in parts of Henderson, Union, Webster, and McLean counties will receive project aid, for example, water and sewer lines for the new Spotsville Bridge. The grant totals for these four counties, just over $3 million. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir says this allows Western Kentucky communities to finish projects they may not have otherwise been able to start. It's a good day for these communities with millions of dollars pouring in, uh, helping them to meet the needs of their citizens, oftentimes with the county not having the budget to, to necessarily do it or to have to do it on the backs of, of all the families that are paying those water bills. For Mayor Rhonda Smith and the town of Cordon, Kentucky, a project like this has been years in the making. The previous mayor, Ted Self, I believe he started this in 2019. Our sewer system is about almost 30 years old. We haven't done any major upgrades or anything in a, in a long time. So this is, you know, it's been a long time coming. Mayor Smith says per the grant's requirements, the project is set to be completed by early April 2023. In Corridon, Cody Bailey, Eyewitness News.